pieces. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Tunip. No problem. Peso, this gull needs your help right away. Let me guess. A giant fish head jumped out of the water and crashed into you. Well, yes? Well, how did you know? Every single creature who's come into sickbay today says they were hit by a giant fish head. Yes! Giant fish head! Giant fish head! Giant fish head? I've never heard of anything like this before. I'd like to come face to face with this giant fish head myself. Well, believe me, it's a monstrous sight. <laughs> You'll be as good as new after a little rest. Oh, lovely. Captain, there could be more patients out there who need help but can't make it to sickbay. Agreed. Peso, take the Gup E and look for hurt creatures. Quasi, you go with him and stop this monstrous giant fish head before he strikes again. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Fish heads lurking down here. And I don't see any hurt creatures either. Let's head to the surface. <laughs> Nothing up here except a giant fish head! <laughs> oh no, that guy is hurt! <laughs> We've got you, Mr. Gull! Thanks for the landing pad. Oh, I can't fly with this wing. There you go. Good as new. Giant fish and a Um. Quasi to Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Go ahead, Quasi. Captain, we've been attacked by the giant fish head. And the gun is sinking. Dashie, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi and Peso have been hit by a giant fish head. A giant fish head? <laughs> yes, their gup is sinking and we need to go after them. The gup sees all ready to go. Very good. Shellington, you're with me. We open the octo hatch. You got it, Cap. Yeah, he's so heavy, he's taken the gun down fast. Stop! Help! We need to pull him out. Aye, before he crashes the gun right into the sea floor. How about a little help? Right on time, Captain. Shellington will attach the tow line to the gut E. Ah! Tow line secure, Captain. Very good. Now, let's give it a good, strong tug. One, two, three. Guys, you're not a giant fish head. You're a sunfish, the largest bony fish on Earth. But where's your tail, matey? <laughs> sunfish like me don't have tails. We're all head. The name's Sonny. Nice to meet you, Sonny. Now please stop crashing into things. I didn't mean to. I've got a bad case of the itchies. Sometimes jumping out of the water splashes them off. A bad case of the itchies? Hmm. Let me take a look. Oh, my. You have lots and lots of parasites. Parasites are tiny things that live in your scales and make you itchy. Uh-oh. Here comes another attack of the itchies. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. We've got to get rid of his parasites and fast, or he'll just keep Ooh. crashing into... It's look out! It's Sometimes, sunfish throw their bodies around to shake off parasites. <laughs> uh, 
But they can also get rid of their parasites by letting other creatures clean them off. What creatures, Shellington? Sometimes cleaner fish do the job underwater. Other times, a sunfish will go to the surface and let gulls clean the parasites from above. Coming! Ah, oh. it's, it's, it's. Sonny, if you go up to the surface, lie on your side and relax, then gulls can clean you from above, while cleaner fish get rid of your itches from below. But what if it tickles? <laughs> I don't like being tickled. But until you get rid of the parasites, you'll be itchy. All right, I'll try it. But if it tickles, I won't be able to keep still. Captain, the cleaner fish and gulls in sickbay should be perfect for this job. Agreed. Quasi, you and Shellington take the Gup Sea back to the octopod and then meet us at the surface with the cleaning crew. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, so you and I will help Sonny swim up to the surface without crashing into anything else. <laughs> Itchy sunfish coming through. Stay clear, please. Itchy, itchy. Uh -oh. itchy. Wait, Sunny, turn around. Itchy. 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 Ah. I'm stuck. That current is strong. If we swim into it, we'll be stuck as well. We sunfish are big, but we're not very good swimmers because we don't have it. Barnacles to Quasi! We need to pull Sunny out of a strong current and we need... Booster packs, Captain! On our way! Hang on, mateys! This could be a wild ride! Oh, come on, come on, we haven't got all day! I guess the Gup Sea isn't the fastest Gup around. Get ready for turbo speed! I didn't know the Gup Sea had turbo speed! It doesn't! <laughs> Just in time. All right, everyone, booster packs on and go! Sunfish circle formation. Peso and Shellington take the right side. Quasi, you're with me on the left. I would like this. On my signal, booster packs, go! That was a close one. Thanks, Octonauts. And now, let's get rid of your itchies. Cleaner fish and gulls. This is not a giant fish head. It's a sunfish, and he needs cleaning. Yes, but I'm afraid he won't be able to keep still if it tickles. Oh. No tickling, please. No problem. We're all professionals. Right, guys? Right, OK. No tickling. I understand. All right, Sonny. On your side. Let the cleaning begin. Not a parasite on you. How do you feel? <sighs> Great. No itches at all, Doc. Thanks, guys. Sorry I crashed into all of you earlier. Next time you get a bad case of the itches, uh, let us uh, clean you before you go crashy, got it? Clean before crashy. Got it. <laughs> Here's a sticker for being such a good patient. Hey, <laughs> that tickles. Uh oh. <laughs> mm, fascinating. Sea stars and snails and red rock crabs. 
Red rock crabs don't live in this part of the ocean. It's too cold for them. I wonder how they got here. Hello, I'm Shellington. I'm an octopus. Stay back! <gasps> oh. <laughs> Impressive. I knew red rock crabs were quick, but I didn't realise they were that quick. There's no need to be frightened. I just want to... This way, Chucks! I'm here to help. You'll never catch us! Hey! Uh. Through his legs, Chucks! <laughs> just can't stand this place. It's cold, there's nothing to eat, and now some big furry thing's chasing after us! Captain! Come in, Captain! Shellington, how are you getting on exploring that island? Well, Captain, there's a bit of a mystery. I found some red rock crabs, but they don't belong here. This island is much too cold for them, and there's not enough food. They won't last long here. I'm going to need help rounding them up and taking them back where they belong. Understood. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. We've got a problem with some red rock crabs on an island where they don't belong. I don't know how they got here, but we need to take them back to their home in the Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos are a long way from here. Can we just load them into the garbs? No, that's the tricky part. They're very hard to catch. Every time I try to get close, they run away. Shellington, we're on our way. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's take this nice and easy. These crabs are a long way from home, and they're probably a bit scared. Hey, up. It's another of those furry things. Don't worry, little crabs. It's time to come with me. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <laughs> I'm Peso, and I'm soaking wet. I, I forgot to tell you, Peso. They squirt water when they feel threatened. Leave us alone. Oh! I'll get my brother onto you. I get away. Oh. Captain, we've been trying to catch the crabs all evening, and we haven't caught a single one. Aye, these little mateys are quicker than I thought. It's getting dark. We'll have to try again tomorrow with the whole crew. Good morning, Octonauts. Everyone ready for a bit of crab catching? Aye, aye. Yes, Captain. We'll round them up faster and you can save a bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got, Got it. it. This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tunip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. Super, super. Octonauts, let's do this. Sounds like Tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers. It's the marine iguanas. Octonauts. <laughs> Funny running into you here. Yeah, imagine that. Piggy, <laughs> Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little. A long way from home. First, red rock crabs, and now marine iguanas. How did all these creatures from the Galapagos end up here? Go on, tell them, Iggy. Shush, I was just about to. It all started with a wild storm. The winds were so strong, they swept us right out to sea. Luckily for us, we was able to grab onto a clump of floating kelp. We used this kelp as a life raft. And a snack. 
We drifted for days and our kelp raft was getting smaller. Well, I was hungry. <laughs> Till eventually, we was washed up here on this little island. Ah, and so the red rock crabs must have been carried here on kelp rafts too. That's incredible. No, it's terrible. The water here is too cold for us to die for seaweed to eat. That's why we've been uh, borrowing your little snacks. Don't worry, iguanas. We'll take you and the crabs back home just as soon as we can round them up. <laughs> you never catch red rock crabs like that. <sighs> I think you're right. If only we had something to distract them so we could sneak up on them. Captain, I think I know just the thing. Now what do we do? Just pretend you're sunbathing. <laughs> Shh! Here they come. Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Three iguanas ready for cleaning. Hey, Chuck, so hungry. Red rock crabs love to climb on marine iguanas and eat the gunk off their backs. That way, both of them benefit. One gets fed, the other one gets cleaned. I believe that's what's called symbiosis. <laughs> yes, that's right. Watch. <laughs> oh, they're kind of tickles. All right, everyone, now that they're distracted... <laughs> It's those furry guys again. Octonauts, stay in formation. Run for your lives! <laughs> hey, this way, Chucks! <laughs> After them! Stop right there! <laughs> oh, no! Phew, they'll see. Well... What are we waiting for? No, Quasi. It's too dangerous. Not for a marine iguana. Our claws give us special grip. Watch. If only we had claws like that. Let me see those claws again. Knock yourself out. Mm. You know what, Peso? I think I might be able to make a song. Tweak, these are a great invention. Thanks, Cap. I call them climbing claws. Everyone stay close and follow me. We need to herd the crabs up to the top of the cliff. We're ready for them, Captain. They'll be safe in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's working, Captain. Just a little further. Steady. Keep moving forward, Octonauts. doing to my friends? Don't worry. We just want to take you back to your home. Take us back home? Well, why didn't you say so? Uh, why'd you hitch a ride? Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, good. Ah, uh, two! Oh, oh. oh dear! Ah, uh, two! Help! Octonauts, form a chain. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh. <laughs> everyone. Thanks for helping us, Chuck. We was just a bit scared before, being so far from home. No problem. But we couldn't have done it without the iguanas. Oh, don't mention it. Now, what do you say we go home? I say, let's go, Chucks! Octonauts, to the Galapagos. Here we are, the Galapagos Islands. Hey, everybody! We're home! And just in time, too. I could really do with a snack. Me, too. Come on. <laughs> Status report, Dashy. We're right on course, Captain. Spending a day at the beach was a great idea, Captain. 
Actually, it was Dashi's suggestion. Well, after all, it is summertime. And even the Octonauts need a holiday now and then. Abalala! What did they say? <laughs> they want to know, are we there yet? Not yet. <laughs> Almost. We need to rush everyone. We have plenty of... <laughs> Time! Coming through! You certainly came prepared, Dashy. I sure did, Captain. I can't wait to do a bit of surfing. And I bought some extra surfboards if anyone wants to come along. Surfing? Sounds like fun. I'm always on the lookout for a new adventure! Yeah. So, before long, you can sense the waves before they even reach you. You kind of become a part of them. Like this? <laughs> Impressive! My family and I used to body surf all the time, so using a board is easy. I'm sure anyone can do it. Maybe not anyone. <laughs> Maybe pirates are better at swashbuckling than surfing. Maybe. Come on, Quasi. Why don't we ride the next wave back to the beach? Hi, matey. <laughs> See you back on the beach, Dashy. Be there soon. Oh, oh, he's sorry. Didn't mean to spook you. I'm Violet, and this is my friend Vic. So. We're surfing snails, which means we love to surf. Yeah, we live on the surface of the ocean. And these bubbles keep us afloat. Wow, I've never met a surfing snail before. That's okay, Dudette. We've never met a surfing uh, whatever you are. My name's Dashy. I'm an octonaut. And I bet my friends back at the beach would love to meet you guys. It sounds cool. Race you to the beach. So, you make your own bubbles? That's right, like this. <gasps> and use them like surfboards. Wow. Fascinating, radical. All well and good when the water's calm, but what happens when a big wave hits, like the one that got me? Dude, you thought that was big? You should see the really big ones we ride. Hey, I know. Tide's coming in soon, and there's going to be some major wave action. Want to check it out? Uh... I do. Let's go. Awesome! This is pretty far out. I know, right? This is far out. No, I mean, pretty far out from shore. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be totally worth it. So, what are we waiting for? Snails have 
have been swept out to sea by a huge wave. Can't they just surf their way to safety? This wave was too big, even for them, and the rough water was popping their bubbles. That's not good. Surfing snails can't swim. If their bubbles pop, they'll sink underwater. They won't be able to get back up. Then we have no time to lose. Quasi peso dashi to the Gump X. <laughs> Right up there is where I last saw the snails. Then let's take a look, shall we? Hey, so you stay here in the tank. We may need you and your medical skills once we find the snails. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Activating glider wings. And up. Get close, Cap, and I'll grab them. I can't reach them. I can't get any closer without crashing. We'll have to try something else. I know. Peso, send up the Octo Ski! On its way, Quasi! Prepare for airdrop. Aye, aye, Captain. Dashi, ready? Totally. Oh, how we do that? We're almost out of bubbles. Ah, I've got this. Serious whipping, do that. Huh? <laughs> he means you're a great surfer. Oh, thanks. Now for quasi. <laughs> Everybody is safe and sound. Nice work, Dashy. Hey, so don't forget the octo ski. Got it. Stand by for pickup. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. Time to head back to shore. Hang on, everyone. See you at the beach. Thanks again for saving us back there. That was some gnarly surfing. You think so? Totally. You'll be a legend in the world of surface snails. Dashy, the amazing Octo Dudet. Well, thanks. There's only one thing that would make this day complete. A nice cat nap on the beach? <laughs> no, Quasi. To see you stay on the board long enough to really enjoy surfing. <laughs> Uh, Come on, let's give it one more try. Totally. Yeah. One more try. Come on, pirate dude. All right, mateys. I'll give it one more try. <laughs> Monkey with a tool belt. 
Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> <laughs>